Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is fifth grade mathematics with number 30 and day number five. All right. So we're going to be talking about how to draw angles today, all right? So we'll be talking about different things that we can use our mathematical set to do. Now, one of the things we can use our mathematical set to do is to draw angles. And which instrument are, are we going to be needing to do that? We're going to need a protractor. Remember what a protractor is? This is going to be like your protractor over here, like that. This is a protractor. You're going to need a protractor. You are going to need a ruler. All right, which you know what a ruler is. This is going to be a ruler. And of course, you are going to need a pencil. So let's try to do that exercise. So we're going to draw a 60 degrees angle. All right, let's go to our fleet chart. We're going to draw a 60 degrees angle right now. So let's go ahead and draw a straight line to start with. All right, just draw a line with your with your ruler. All right, draw a line with your ruler right here. I'm going to move it real close so you can see it. All right. So we're going to draw a line here, all right, with our pencil and ruler. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a straight line. All right. So I am going to take a point along the line. Let's take any point along the line. I'm going to draw a 60 degrees from this line. Well, I'm going to get my protractor. I'm going to put my protractor, just the tip of my protractor, right on that point that I marked on the straight line. All right. So my protractor is going to go down this way like this on this point. And I am going to do, make sure that the protractor lines up with the straight line that I just drew. Then I'm going to start counting from zero up until I get a 60. You can count from the left or you can count from the right. It doesn't matter. All right. So zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So you're going to put a dot, put a dot there like that, put just a dot like that. And then you are going to connect the dot. All right. You can connect the dot like that. Connect it to here, just like that. All right. So I've connected it there. So guess what this line is going to be? This angle right here, this angle right here is going to be my 60 degrees that I measured. So you're welcome to use your mathematical compass to draw that angle for me. So this is going to be right here. So this is going to be 60 degrees. Whoa! <laughs> we did it. So this is 60 degrees. All right. So then the question is now, what angle is behind 60 degrees? All right, so we're going to take it right here. What angle is going to be right behind 60 degrees? And get your compass to draw the back angle. Ha ha, here we go. So what is this angle behind 60 degrees? Well, get your protractor and use it to measure it. So right over here, this is where we are. Ah, we're going to start counting from here. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, um, all right, 90, 100, 110, 120. So counting all the way from here. So this angle behind 60 degrees is going to be 120 degrees. Now, guess what? What's going to be the angle on a straight line? The angle on a straight line is going to be 120 degrees plus 60 degrees, which is going to be 1, 2, 0, plus 60, which will be equivalent to 180 degrees. So that's something to remember. The angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. All right? And guess what? On the back of a straight line, below the straight line, it's going to be 180 degrees as well. So really, really critical and fundamental things you got to remember in your study of geometry. All right. If you get something from it, I sure hope so. 
So please go ahead and uh, turn to page number 209 from your workbook. You are going to see additional things over there to retain this content a little bit better. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. your hero's body and as you study with hero's body